Sweeping across a landmark of Mussolini's doomed African empire, RAF bombers pursue the fleeing armies of Marshal Rommel. Speeding in from the east, from the west, they shatter the great port of Tripoli, most important Axis supply base on the Mediterranean. Montgomery, commanding the British 8th Army, hoists a flag of the RAF over a captured German airfield on the road to Tripoli. Immediately, British ground crews begin to salvage riddled and abandoned German planes, transferring Hitler's raiders to the RAF, a bit battered, but still able to fly. Going ahead of the victorious British Army, courageous sappers with electromagnetic detectors listen for landmines left by the retreating Nazis. There, they've located one. Dangerous business. One day's haul. Landmines to trap the British, discovered before they could do any harm. Every square yard of the desert country is carefully marked for safety. Now, along the Majerba River in Tunisia, Allied forces drive in opposite directions. Artillery batteries of the British First Army dueling Nazi planes. Dive bombers attack, and Allied ships speed in to intercept. A Nazi raider is caught by the camera as he's shot down in the ensuing dogfight. In the hills of Tunisia, strongly emplaced German batteries fall back before the concerted Allied attack. Now, American-built trucks and tanks move up all a part of the Allied plan to rout the Axis from Africa. Boston bombers swoop in. Libya has gone. Tripoli has been won. The United Nations have written the end to Mussolini's dreams of empire.